Now let's look at the content of our course. Uh, this will be a 12 week plan and I have split uh, this course into four parts. Uh, part A deals with the basics. Uh, the first week will be an introduction and overview of some of the prerequisite items like a review of basic probability, uh, random variables, probability laws. Uh, the second week uh, would be a little more advanced topics. Uh, we will look at uh, functions of random variables, uh, joint distributions, uh, with emphasis on the joint normal distribution and some introduction to the concept of stochastic process because we are going to look at time dependent reliability during the course and while doing that we will solve simple problems. In the third week uh, we will introduce Monte Carlo simulations uh, which will be very helpful in solving many problems that cannot be solved uh, in enclosed form. So we will discuss uh, generation of samples from various discrete and continuous distributions using pseudo random number generators, uh, generation of dependent variates which have a lot of practical utility. Uh, we'll discuss variance reduction techniques uh, also because basic Monte Carlo simulation can be rather inefficient and we'll practice some coding problems as well. Uh, part B uh, will be the introduction of fundamental concepts of the subject of reliability. Uh, it's not a very old discipline, uh, it's about 70 years old, so uh, it came into its own during the uh, and after the Second World War. So we'll discuss briefly the historical development and the growth of the subject. Uh, while discussing that, we'll talk about how the civil engineering problems uh, in reliability came up and got defined with uh, and especially with regard to structures and then how structured reliability grew as a discipline. Uh, in week five, we will look at systems, how systems are modeled as a logical arrangement of components and how the system and how system failure is expressed in terms of component failures. And while doing that, we'll also point out how structural systems have some features that make them a bit different and sometimes difficult to solve. Uh, Week six will be at the end of part B. Uh, we will end it with a, a time to failure based approach to reliability. Uh, part C will delve deeply into structural reliability. Uh, we'll introduce the capacity demand time formulation, which is common for structural systems, uh, and touch on the first passage concept. Uh, we'll discuss at length uh, the concept of limit states uh, try to solve some problems in closed form uh, and those that cannot be solved in closed form which is most problems uh, in in week eight we we'll discuss approximate solutions the very elegant form first order reliability method uh, its extension to sorm second order reliability method and then monte carlo simulations uh, in week nine we will look at structural systems reliability and we'll end part c with reliability-based maintenance. Uh, in part D, we will first look at how probability-based design codes are developed. And in the last week, uh, we will venture into the interface uh, of structural reliability and society, uh, try to answer the question, how safe is safe enough? And concepts that are becoming more and more relevant, uh, those of robustness and resilience. Uh, in terms of textbooks and recommended books, um, uh, the, I have listed three here. Uh, the book by Heinz et al. Uh, is a very nice basic uh, prop stats book for engineers. Uh, the book by Ang and Tang, uh, Probability Concepts in Engineering, uh, that's uh, an excellent book and uh, as is structural liability uh, analysis and prediction by Melchus and Beck. Um, but there'll be obviously more books, uh, more suggested references that I will list uh, at the end of modules or at the bottom of slides, uh, including uh, articles and, and papers. Uh, the course format uh, is, uh, 
as I said, there will be four parts. Uh, in terms of equivalent contact hours, uh, part A will have nine. Uh, part B, which is fundamentals of reliability, will have another nine. And then part C, uh, which is reliability of structures, uh, that would have 12 equivalent contact hours. And then part D, which is reliability-based design, would have another six. Uh, the lecture mode will be like this, PowerPoint slides with uh, voiceover and an inset picture. And on the top right, you will see um, which week we are covering and what the main subject of that is. So it will help you locate uh, the lectures. Uh, some slides, this, this course is a, parts of it are quite mathematical in nature. So some slides uh, will be a bit dense and I'm sorry about that, uh, but please pause the lecture and take notes if you would like for those slides. Uh, there will be modules, um, roughly about five per hour of lecture, and each of these parts would be something like 10 or 15 or a few more modules uh, in, in these parts. Uh, there'll be solved examples. I will put a lot of emphasis on that during each module. And at the end of each module, I'll also try to work through some examples. Uh, there'll be homeworks uh, at the end of each week and answers will be listed separately. Uh, and tests, there'll be optional tests at the end of each part uh, and a required test at the end of the course.